Hey, everybody. Today, we're going to talk about the Greek story of Cassandra and how she has some similarities with the story of Tony Stark and Iron Man. Today's video is going to be rather short. If you like it, please like, subscribe, and share. So not everybody knows the story of Cassandra, so it's worth explaining it quickly. If you've ever read the Iliad, you know that on the Trojan side, it's the Greeks versus the Trojans, and on the Trojan side, the two main heroes are Hector and Paris. Really, it's Hector. He's the one who battles Achilles, and his brother is Paris. He's the one that uh, fell in love with uh, Helen of, uh, and brought Helen back to Troy and the face that lost, launched a thousand ships. A lot of people don't know that Hector and Paris had siblings. They had several, actually, and one of them was Cassandra. Now, the long story short is that Cassandra got Apollo's favor, um, and she promised that uh, if he gave her a gift, that she would always give him favor. And he gave her the, fifth, the gift of prophecy, of foresight. But sure enough, she ended up mm, kind of pissing him off one day, and as a result, uh, Apollo wanted to punish her. Now, he couldn't take away the gift that he gave her. That's kind of part of the story is once a god gives you a gift, you're, you, you have it. Um, but he decided to give her another gift, or really a curse, and it's that no one would believe her prophecies. So she has the gift of foresight, but no one will believe her. Now let's turn to Tony Stark. First off, it's worth noting that Tony Stark, Iron Man, is a futurist. That's one way to describe him. It's not to say that he sees the future necessarily, but he kind of has his finger on the pulse and has a sense of where things are going. And at least in the story, you know, his grasp of technology does make it seem like he's a man from the future. More important, Iron Man is cursed with foresight. In a couple places, this becomes really apparent. First off, he is one who goes through the wormhole. And when he goes through that wormhole in the first Avengers movie, he sees, you know, the alien armada. He has a glimpse of them. Um, and he comes back and he kind of later explains to everybody, you know, just how scary it was, what he saw. Uh, and people believe him, but they don't quite have the same conviction as him. He also envisions later he sees the Avengers being defeated. And this becomes something that drives him all the way until he dies in Endgame. Spoiler alert. <laughs> just kidding. You already know. Um, and it's this vision that he has of the Avengers being destroyed that is what actually causes him to build Ultron. This is what causes him to build Ultron, right? He has this, you know, fear about the world, and he wants to protect the world, and so he builds an AI that will protect the world because he knows what's coming. He has this view of it. And in some respects, again, he is similar to Cassandra. Not that nobody believes him. Again, I think people believe him, but there's still a tragic ending to his story, there's still a tragedy to the element that he knows what's going to happen, and he does what he can to stop it, but to a certain extent he can't, um, and it is his foresight that ends up being his undoing. He cannot rest, he cannot be calm or be easy um, until that tragedy is averted. Um, and so, again, I think there's a, an element where, uh, you know, today there is a phrase that we use. We say, oh, this person is a Cassandra. And by that, we mean it's someone who, you know, has a sense of what's right, but no one will listen to them. And I think Tony Stark, Iron Man, has something similar in his life. Again, thank you for your time. As always, please like, subscribe, share. Let me know what you think. Give me some comments. I'm trying to get some feedback here. Should I continue on the superhero stuff? Should I go a little bit more broad into philosophical things? Let me know. I, I want feedback.